Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these editable Gantt charts directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. So I'm just going to quickly start off with this title and subtitle and then let's add the chart. We're going to start off by using a stacked bar chart and then we'll convert it into a Gantt chart. So we'll go to insert, chart, choose bar and then stacked, which is this second one here. Click OK. I'm going to add one line of this data in to show you exactly how it's done and then quickly paste in the rest of my data to save time. So I'm going to select these three rows and delete them because we don't need them for now. And this Gantt chart will work with a start date, an end date and a duration. I'll just type in the first thing here, the concept planning. Then click here and drag to extend this row so we can see what it is. Select these two and turn them into dates by right clicking, going to format cells and selecting date and OK. Now we can type in the date here. For example, 01-01-2024. We need to extend this so we can see them. And then the date here. This is the end date. For example, 01-02-2024. And now to get the duration to work, we can simply say equals the end date minus the start date. Gives us 31 days in this example. I'm quickly going to paste in the rest of my data to save time, but effectively just follow the same format as the one I've just shown you. Now we can click on this funnel option and just choose what we want to display. I actually just want to hide the end date. So the start and duration are the only two. Click apply. Now I want to change the order and to reverse it. So I can click on this axis, right click, format axis, then choose this option here, categories in reverse order. This is getting closer. I'm just going to remove the title by clicking on it and clicking delete. And clicking on the legend down here and clicking delete and then sizing this down a bit so we can see what we're working with. I can hold down shift and then hold down control and size it up from the center. That looks about right. So the main content of the Gantt chart will be these green blocks here. And these are the duration. In the end, we won't be displaying the blue ones and we want the green one to start over the left and finish without this space. And to do that, we can click on the dates, right click, choose format axis. And you can see from the axis options, there's a minimum and a maximum but not in the date format, just in a numerical format here. To set these, I think the easiest way is just to go onto these and turn them into numbers temporarily. So we can right click, format cells, select number and click OK. Now you can see the lowest and the highest numbers in there that we can just quickly type in. So for example, on this one, it's 45292 for the minimum. Press tab. And then it's this one here, 45627 for the maximum. Now we can quickly turn them back to date format for easy editing in the future. So we can just select these, right click, format cells, date, and click OK. You can see that the chart's starting to look how we want it. Now we can close this data window down. I'm going to click on these blue bars and select no fill. This is looking close now. I also want to set this gap width to 50 rather than 150, which will make the bars taller. I'm going to click on this outer circle to make sure everything's selected and just change the font to anything I want. I'm going to be using inter and I'm going to click on these and make them bold. That's looking good. Now we can individually color these if we want or color them all the same. So while they're all selected, we can just pick any color we want. And then you can click a second time to simply select just one of them and make that any color you want and so on. Now they're selected. We can just click once on each one and change the color to anything we want. That looks great. So now we've got an editable Gantt chart. We can just right click on this, choose edit data. 
I can select any date I want here, for example, the 20th of the 2nd, 2024, and it will automatically adjust. You can even right click in here, insert rows above, for example, type in anything you want, copy the dates from anywhere, and it will automatically put it in. We can even make adjustments here to the colors, to the size. It's a really flexible way of having a quickly editable Gantt chart directly in PowerPoint. I'll now just finally show you how you can style this up however you want. So I'll just press Ctrl Z to undo that. Right click, format the background in anything we want. For example, I can choose picture or texture fill and then stock images. I just typed gradient. And you can pick anything from here and insert it. Then we can change the color on the text. Again, to anything you think looks good. And you can choose something like gradient fill on these. And straight away, you have a great custom design. You can add shadow to these or any effect that you want. For example, we can go to shadow, choose presets, offset bottom. I'll take up the transparency slightly to 80 and the blur to 10 and the distance to 10. Then look at that. A really nice, quickly designed slide. We can also make any of these bold if we want to or change any of the formatting really easily. And now you have a powerful, great looking Gantt chart where you can edit the data live in PowerPoint. And I think this is a really powerful way of creating these style of charts. And once created, it's easy to take this and edit it as you wish. If you'd like to download any of the source files from any of my tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert, watch the next video. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.